Hi, good evening, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are um, you? Fine. What did you do the whole day? I played with my friends. You played with your friends, okay. You said I play. It should be I played, okay? I played with my friend. What did you play? What game did you play? I play outside. You play outside, okay. So have you eaten dinner? Yes. What did you eat? I ate chicken. I ate chicken. Uh, I ate chicken. Okay, you ate chicken. Okay, so we are going to start our lesson. We will begin where we end up last time, okay? So I will share the screen with you. Okay, so we are going to start here. So we will listen again so that you will know the answer, okay? Wait, wait. An example. Listen. Mary Litton here in our... Office. Jim's mom went shopping and bought lots of presents for her friends. What did she buy for each person? Where did you go today, Mum? I went shopping in town, Jim. I wanted to buy some presents for my friends at work. You know Tony? Yes. Well, I got him a belt. He'll like that. It wasn't expensive, but it's very nice. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. It was difficult to choose something for Betty. So, did you buy her something? Yes. I found a nice scarf in the big shop next to the park. She'll like that, I'm sure. She likes going to football matches at the weekends. She can wear it there. Then I went to the bookshop to find something for Richard. He helps me a lot at work. Does he? Yes. I wanted to get him a new diary, but they didn't have any nice ones. Then I found this dictionary and thought, that's a good idea. So I bought that. And you met Sarah last week? Yes. Did you get something for her too? Yes. She loves skiing. So I found some great gloves for her. They're a lovely dark blue colour. Then I went to the music shop. What did you buy there? Well, I wanted to get Robert a CD of some guitar music. He loves that. But I couldn't find one that I liked. I was going out of the door when I saw another one. I stopped to look at it, then decided to listen to it. It was great, so I bought that one for him. What else did you buy? I needed something for Lucy. I got a torch. It's not very exciting, but I couldn't find anything else. I thought about a video before that, but I don't think she watches those now. But why are you buying all these presents, Mum? Because on Monday, I'm starting a new job. And I have to leave all my friends at work. Now listen to part three again. It was difficult to choose something for Betty. So, did you buy her something? Yes. I found a nice scarf in the big shop next to the park. She'll like that, I'm sure. She likes going to football matches at the weekends. She can wear it there. Then I went to the bookshop 
to find something for Richard. He helps me a lot at work. Does he? Yes. I wanted to get him a new diary, but they didn't have any nice ones. Then I found this dictionary and thought, that's a good idea. So I bought that. And you met Sarah last week? Yes. Did you get something for her too? Yes. She loves skiing. So I found some great gloves for her. They're a lovely dark blue colour. I went to the music shop. What did you buy there? Well, I wanted to get Robert a CD of some guitar music. He loves that. But I couldn't find one that I liked. I was going out of the door when I saw another one. I stopped to look at it, then decided to listen to it. It was great, so I bought that one for him. What else did you buy? I needed something for Lucy. I got a torch. It's not very exciting, but I couldn't find anything else. I thought about a video before that, but I don't think she watches those now. But why are you buying all these presents, Mum? Because on Monday, I'm starting a new job. And I have to leave all my friends at work. Okay, so the end of part three. Kindly answer. I will share it to you the remote control and kindly write your answer. What did Jim's mom bought for Sarah? Okay, so let's check the answer. Okay, it's gloves. Okay, so let's go to the next page. For Richard, what did she bought for Richard? Okay, for Betty. Okay, for Robert. Okay, and for Lucy. Okay, let's find out if you answered correctly, okay? Uh, give the control to me. Okay, so for Richard, what did Jim's mom bought for Richard? Your answer is F. What is F? S dictionary. Okay, dictionary. Let's find out. Okay, you are correct, F. For Betty, what did Jim's mom bought for Betty? It's a scarf. Okay, so let's see. Okay, you are correct. How about for Robert? What did Jim's mom bought for Robert? It's a CD. It's a CD. Okay, so you are correct. How about for Lucy? What did Jim's mom bought for Lucy? It's a... So you answered letter A. Let's find out if you are correct. It's letter D, this one. This is what mom, Jim's mom bought for. You see, it's A, torch or flashlight. Can you read it? Touch. A flashlight. Okay. So, Mary, have you ever bought a present for a friend? Uh, yes. What kind of present did you give your friend? It's a pen. It's a pen. Why did you choose a pen as a gift? Because they choose, they choose, not me. Oh, they are the one who chose, not you. Okay. 
So, did your friend like your gift for them? Yes. How about, have you ever received a gift from your friend? Mm. Have you ever received a gift from your friend? From your friend giving you a present? Mary? No. No. Oh, you haven't received a gift from your friend, but you gave them a gift, right? Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so let's listen. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Jill do at the weekend? Hello, Jill. Did you enjoy your weekend at your aunt's? Yes, it was lovely. On Saturday, I went riding in the mountains. On your bike? No, on a horse. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which person is Jill's cousin? Who did you go with? My cousin, Ben. Oh yes, I know Ben. He's got brown hair and glasses, hasn't he? He wears glasses, but his hair's blonde. Did Jill go to her aunt's house? Did you go to your aunt's house, Jill? I can't. No, because my dad was working and he couldn't take me. So did you go by bus? That's right. It's cheaper than the train. Okay. So finally, take the answer. Okay, can you describe Jill's cousin? How does Jill's cousin look like? He has brown hair, he wears uh, glasses, okay. and a blue t shirt. Uh, Mary, uh, give me the control for the remote. Okay. So you said he wear. He wear glasses. It should be he wears glasses. Okay, can you read the correct sentence? He wear glasses. He wears glasses. Okay. Singular subject takes singular verb that ends in S. Okay? Can you read it? Singular subject takes singular singular verb that ends in s okay so mary how did jill go to her aunt's house where did they, jill ride they catch the bus okay so let's go to the next page Yours is Jill's aunt's. What's your aunt's house like? Well, it's very big with three floors. That sounds nice. Yes, 
and it's got a garden with apple trees. What did Jill and her cousin do? Did you eat any of the apples? No, they weren't sweet enough. Did you climb the trees then? No, my aunt doesn't let us. But we've got a swing on one of the trees. We played on that. Was it sunny on Saturday? No, it wasn't. Five. What time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? Did you come home on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I left early at about half past one. How long did it take to get home? Oh, about two hours. So I got home at half past three. Okay. So Mary, kindly take the answers. Which house is Jill's aunt's? Okay, what did Jill and her cousin do? What time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? Okay, so Mary, I will ask you something. Can you tell me about Jill's aunt's house? Jill aunt's house has three floors. Okay, it what else? Has two apples. Okay. Is it a big house or a small house? Big house. Okay. What did Jill and her cousin do? They have a Look at picture C. What did they do? They have a Okay, so uh Mary, they swing from one tree. Can you read it? That is swing from one tree. Okay. Did they did did they eat apples? No. Why? Why did they don't eat apples? Because the, the, an apple is not. It's not the apples are not sweet okay so how about did they climb the tree the apple tree no they didn't why because uh, her cousin Because they did not climb the tree because their aunt did not allow them. Okay, can you read it? Their aunt did not allow them. Okay, when we say allow, it means to give permission, okay? So what time did Jill arrive home on Sunday? Okay, how many hours did Jill travel from her aunt's house to their home? Two hours. Two hours, okay, so let's check if your answers are correct. Okay, so for 
For number three, it's letter C. And for number four, it's letter C also. And for number five, it's letter C. So you got them all correctly, okay? So now let's go to the next one. Here you're just going to write the colors, okay? So let's listen and then let's uh, do the... Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can you see the two trees? Yes. Well, colour the leaves on the trees green. All of them. That's right. Can you see the green leaves? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. There are three butterflies in the picture. I see them. Draw some red stripes on the butterfly on the right. Okay. Okay. Can you, which one should you, will you write the red stripes? Which butterfly will you write the red stripes? Put the word red. Mary, which one will you put the red word? Which butterfly? The one in the right. So can you type it down? Type red. Okay, so let's listen. Two. Next, I want you to find the boy who's fishing. Which one? There are three. Yes. Well, look at the tallest boy. Okay. And colour his sweater blue. Yes. Okay, which one will you colour blue? Wait, wait, wait. I will change the colour first. Wait, Mary. Okay, which one will you colour blue? Okay, so you are correct. Okay, Mary. Give to me the remote. Can you see the two swans? Yes. Colour them black. But swans are white. Not always. Right. Colour the... Colour the two swans black. Two swans, two swans. Uh. Where are the swans, Mary? Okay, color them black. Okay. 
okay? So give me the remote. Now for some more colouring. Good. Find the boy who's catching a ball. Easy. Well, colour his shorts brown. Okay. Colour the shorts of the boy catching the ball of brown. The shorts, the shorts, Mary. Okay. So you are correct. And last, I want you to do some more drawing. Ready. Draw a bridge across the river. Where do you want me to draw it? Between the boys who are fishing and the swans. Okay, draw a bridge. Draw a bridge. Between the boys and the swans. Between the boys who are fishing and the swan, draw a bridge. Okay. It should be here. Mary. Okay, so let's find out if your answers are correct. Red stripes, you are correct. Blue, black, brown, bridge. Okay, this is where you are going to put the bridge. Okay, so Mary, can you describe to me the picture? How many trees do you see? I can see two trees. What are the color of the trees? It's green. Is it? It's green. How about how many butterflies can you see? I can see three butterflies. Okay. What are the boys here doing? They are fishing. Okay. How many boys are fishing? Okay, how about this one? How many swans do you see? I can see two. Okay, what are the color of the swans? It's black. Okay, it's black. So where do you think is this place? What is this place called? Is it what? It is what? It's a river. Okay, it's a river. Okay. Okay, Mary, have you gone fishing? Yes. Okay, so have you caught a fish? Yes. Was it big or small? It's small. Okay, can you tell me more about your fishing experience? Where did you fish? I fish in my grandma. Um, Okay, who's with you when you when you went fishing? My dad and my brother. Okay, did you caught the fish that you caught? No. What did you do with the fish that you caught? What did you do, Mary?
Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so we are going to skip this one because it's just the same. Okay, so now can you tell me what can you see with the picture? In picture one, the woman, the woman, uh, is wear the coat. In picture two, she don't wear the coat. Okay. So where do you think is the is this place? Where is this place? Is a train station. It's a train station. Okay. So now can you circle all the difference in between the two pictures? Okay, so wait, I will share to you the remote. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Mary. Put the circle. Okay, and put it a circle also the other one in the other picture. Okay, what else? Okay. So Mary, can you tell to me what are the differences that you that you saw from the picture? In picture one, the wo the woman is take a coat. Taking In off picture. taking off her coat, okay? And what else? What differences? In picture one, the boy is drink water. In picture two, the boy is eat hot dog. Okay, you said it, it should be the the boy in picture one is drinking, while in the boy in picture to a eating hot dog. Okay, what else? What are the differences that you can see? The girl, the girl um, is a What is the girl holding here? It's a toy what? He, she is holding a camel. Okay, a camel. How about in this picture? In picture two, the girl is holding a elephant. Holding an. Okay, you said holding a elephant. It should be holding an elephant. Can you read it? Holding an elephant. Okay, and how about this guy in the middle? What is the difference between the two pictures? 
in picture one, the guy, the man is holding a umbrella. In picture two, the man is holding a skateboard. Okay, an umbrella. You said a umbrella. It should be an umbrella. Can you read it? A an umbrella. A uh, umbrella. An umbrella. Okay. So how about here? What is this? Is a bookshelf. How about in this picture? What is it? It's a water shelf. Oh, I think these are uh, soft drinks, soda. Okay, how about this? How, what is the difference between the birds? In picture one, they are the birds is gray. Okay, you said the bird is gray. It should be the birds are gray. Can you read it? Okay, how about in picture two? What colors? What color are the birds? In picture two, the birds are green. Okay, so how about here? What is the difference between the train? In picture one, the train don't have any body. Don't have any any passenger. Can you read it? Passenger. Passenger. How about in picture two? In picture two, there are many passengers. Okay, there are many passengers. Okay, so let's go to the next. One. Oh, we missed one. Mary, the moon. A picture one. The sky has a moon. The sky has. The said sky. the sky have a moon. It should be the sky has a moon. The sky have a moon. The sky has a moon. Okay. So let's go to the next page. Okay. This is Anne and Bill. They live in the same street. I don't know anything about Anne's house, but you do. So I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Uh, Mary, can you tell me what do you see in the picture? I can see two parents. Okay, and how many houses can you see? I can see four. Okay, so let's let's uh, answer some questions. Where is Anne's house? Near Anne's house is near a museum. Okay, is it old or new? Is is new. Okay, how many windows are there in Anne's house? There are six windows. What color is her house? It's blue and white. It is color blue and white. Has it got a garden? 
No, she has. No, it doesn't have. You said no, she has. It should be no, it does not have. Can you read it? No, she has. No, it does not have. Okay, so Mary, can you tell me what color is your house? It is white and black. Does it does it got a garden? Does your house? No. Okay. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, now you don't know anything about Bill's house. So you asked me some questions. Okay, Bill's house. So let's answer some questions. Is Bill's house old or new? Bill's house is old. Okay, what color is his house? His house is red and white. How many windows are there in Bill's house? There are 10 windows. Has it got a garden? Yes, she has. Yes, you said yes. Yeah. Yes, it have. Okay, where is Bill's house? Bill's house is near the station. So, Mary, what is near your house? I near a. Uh, Supermarket. Okay, you said I near a supermarket. It should be it is near a supermarket. Can you read it? I near a supermarket. It is near a supermarket. We use I for a person okay it is for, for thing okay when do we use i for when we use i for a person and it is for things okay Okay, so Mary, can you read the this one? John and Sally and their parents are getting into their car. They are going to have a picnic when they go to the picnic their mom is sleep they they are that is take the food out of the uh, the Back. When they went, John and Sally play badminton. Two bears are going to. Two bears are very hungry. They. The. The bears can see food. They go to the picnic and and want to eat food. Okay, 
So Mary, we no longer have enough time. Next lesson, we will continue from here. Okay, so uh, I just want you to be careful when you structure your sentences. If you have time, study how to construct a correct sentence, okay? So I hope you enjoyed your time with teacher. Have a great evening, Mary. See you again. Bye. Bye.